For the past few years, forum members have been designing huge thrower flashlights called the BFL GT. It's an 8X18650 thrower flashlight. Lumentop was the manufacturer, and it was a great success, but very pricey. Lumentop decided to make a much more reasonable, smaller, more affordable version, which I have here today, the Lumentop GT Mini. It takes what was learned from the BLF GT and shrinks it into a light capable of 1200 lumens and throw out to 700 plus meters, all in an easily uh, handheld package. Thanks to Banggood for sending this to me to take a look at. So here is the packaging, the light comes on in. You get this uh, nice sleeve that uh, really just shows the light, uh, not much to it. Inside you get a lumen top cardboard brown box. Inside that you get the manual, which is quite good, some foam, information card, the light sits in here, you get some extra O-rings, and you get a purple lanyard. Where is that lumen top orange lanyard? I preferred that one. A short 18350 tube is also available for this light. Right now I only have the 18650 tube. You can pay $5 and get it separately or order it as a complete kit. I'll probably pick up one later. So here is the light itself. Lumentop does a nice job with construction and this light's no different. It's made from aluminum that's been hard anodized in a near matte black finish. The tail cap here is flat with a bit of an indention. If you had a thin neodymium magnet, you could probably fit one in there. That is where the lanyard hold goes. Threads are um, pretty standard cut. They're almost slightly flat. The tail cap is pretty good here too. It's got those dual springs in there, which is kind of nice. It's only the tail cap that has that. You can see here I've got, I'm running an LG HD2 battery in this. Uh, for a little bit of testing here. You can see this, the uh, wall is fairly thick. The body tube has flat diamond knurling that's medium grip and it has some concentric areas that are kind of milled in here you can see to kind of break it up. You've got four flats, two of which are printed with Lumen Top and GT Mini. In the uh, front cap you've only got a single spring that's pretty short. There isn't any physical reverse polarity protection on the head of this light. The head itself has a series of uh, rings used for aiding in cooling with an area milled off flat here for the button. The button has a silicon rubber feel to it and has it's slightly raised. Underneath is an LED and you might be able to see glow there on camera. It has a few functions I'll get into later. The rest of the head's fairly smooth here with you've got these uh, slots kind of milled in for style. If we look at the front bezel here, it is lightly crenulated there. The glass is double reflective coated. We can see the reflector there is smooth and the LED is nicely centered. Um, the front bezel is not glued in, it does come unscrewed. My only complaint is that the flats on the body tube where the labels are don't line up with the light when it's screwed together for use. As you can see here, um, I'd really like that it either say Lumen Top or even better GT Mini. That's just my OCD sticking through there. It's aesthetics that bother me. The light won't work when you have it turned. It's got to be, everything's got to be tight to make contact. I like this too because it helps you uh, find the button when the light's oriented. I just prefer that. Um, that's not uncommon though for a light of this class to not have things that line up perfectly. If Lumentop was smart, they just make the design where um, it doesn't really matter and you don't have to worry about that. I measured the length at 132 millimeters, width at its largest near in the head at 50 millimeters, at its narrowest at 23.3 millimeters, and weight with an 18650 battery is 200 grams, and the light is rated for IPX68. In comparison to other throwers here, I've got a Convoy C8 Plus that I reviewed earlier, and if these will line up here, you can see the Convoy is just a little bit longer in length. If we look at the head diameters, a little hard to see there, but the Convoy is smaller in diameter. Uh, Weight-wise, they're very similar, within 5 grams of each other, with the slight advantage going to the Convoy. If I have the uh, Thru-Night Catapult V6, which I also reviewed, this is a 26650 light, um, one of my favorite uh, handheld throwers at the moment. And lengthwise, they're pretty much the exact same. Obviously, the body tubes are different. Head diameters, the uh, Mini GT is smaller in diameter, and uh, weight-wise, they're very similar. 
This light uses a Cree XPL high LED and is available in cool or neutral white. Mine that I'm testing here is in neutral white, which is my preference. This is a pretty warm neutral white, which I don't mind, probably around 3800 or 4000 Kelvin. It uses a FET driver to achieve around 1200 maximum lumens in turbo mode. For my runtime test, I use a 3400 milliamp hour protected through night battery. Step down was pretty fast and aggressive on this light. It really stepped down pretty low quickly after two and a half minutes. It stepped down again in three and a half minutes to 10% 10, 10 relative output. This is great for thermal and overall runtime, but less practical for actual use. It requires you to either bump up repeatedly uh, to get to a brighter level. And this is less of a problem if you're running in a medium or a high versus going in turbo. Overall runtime uh, when I went from turbo to just let it roll was over 300 minutes. Uh, but like I said, that was at 10% relative output. Heat wasn't too bad and the head got to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are my night shots for the Lumentop GT Mini. And this is on the lowest mode. And even on the lowest mode, it throws pretty well. This light does have a uh, low, like, moon mode. And if I just press and hold, this is a ramping light, and it comes up. You can saw it blink there just a bit. That's uh, the highest mode. If I double click, I get turbo. And this is a thrower light. Just look at it here. It's it's got an impressive, very tight beam. It's got nice spill. That hot center is what's most impressive. The shut cutoff is fairly sharp. This thing is small in the hand too. Let me just kind of walk out here and show you what it's like. It's a nice quality light. So this does have ramping firmware. So what that means is this is on one of the brighter modes. If I want it dimmer, I just uh, hold and it comes down. I can stop at any point. There's no defined modes, although that is an option with this light. Then I can come back up to high. This isn't the longest distance I have, but it's a, one of the darkest places I can go. And it easily reaches out there, which is easily 100 yards. This is something like 500 meters easy. And remember, this is a single 18650, so great throw on this light. On the left, I have that uh, Convoy C8 Plus that I reviewed. And on the right, I have the Lumentop GT Mini. And they're similar beams. The uh, Convoy here, it's got a bigger hot spot and a little bit larger spill. The Lumentop here is a smaller hot spot with about the same amount of spill. They're very comparable beams. I like the ramping firmware of the Lumentop a little bit better myself, but the Convoy is an excellent choice as well. Both here are in neutral white, slightly warm white. The uh, Lumentop here, it is, uh, it's a fairly warm beam, which I prefer over cool white. Again, a great option. This light uses the popular Narsil M version 1.3 firmware, and I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert on this firmware. It offers a lot of options. It's a firmware designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. What I like about it on this light is it means ramping. It means light doesn't have predefined levels by default. And it's configurable too, so if you don't like something, chances are you can change it. And the firmware does a nice job of explaining how to do that. So full ramp, the light is on as you can see here. It takes about two and a half seconds to fully come on and it's hard to see on camera, but it just does a quick flash to let you know you're at top mode. You double click to go to turbo, double click again from turbo and you go into a strobe mode, single click to get out of it. Once you're in that strobe mode, you've got a few other options that you can play around with. The switch, as I mentioned before, has a green LED under it and this is on when the light's off. Uh, and it shuts off when the light is on. This can be turned off using, uh, if you turn the light on and off in rapid succession. Battery status and lockout are also available on this light as well as momentary. It's really pretty much all here, including the UI to go back to factory default, which I really like in case you 
are playing around and or give it to a friend and they screw something up. Make sure you give the manual a read or two to make sure you have a grasp of the full capabilities of this light. So the pros for me are, it comes in a neutral white version which is pretty warm, which I like. Lumatop has a nice build and package quality on par with probably an Olight or an Ace Beam I'd say. I like that glowing power button and the manual is different in a good way, it's well written. This is a great value thrower at current sale prices and the small 18350 tube is available and included in some versions of this light. The cons for me are that body tube flats and labels don't line up with the button which is annoying to my OCD. It's got large and aggressive step downs in its runtime. The large head small body tube combination uh, if you're running that 18350 tube is less ergonomic but it's really not that big a deal. My conclusion is at the current sale price with the coupon in the description, this is a high value thrower. Unlike the big brother, the BLF GT, this Mini is affordable. It easily fits into one hand, it offers great firmware and build quality, and a long runtime overall. With the 18350 body tube, I think it fits pretty well in the hand as you can see here. But I can imagine that 18350 tube being a little bit short and being a little awkward and probably getting a little warm to hold. That said, I'll probably end up buying one because of the novelty factor on my next Banggood order. With all the new throwers out there this year, the GT Mini ranks high on my list because of its firmware, neutral white options, and that it's been heavily influenced by enthusiasts. In the description below, I'll have a link to where you can buy one on Banggood if you're interested, as well as a coupon code making this a great price. If you have one, let me know what you think of yours. As always, I appreciate you liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and spreading words with your friends. Thanks for watching.